to slightly answer slash avoid your question our our team has definitely been in talks with some with some major players in the space um and when these announcements happen um we're very confident that they will kind of happen at our conference the bitcoin conference is coming may 18th through the 20th in years past we've seen some really huge announcements come out of that conference and we could definitely see some big ones happen this year it'll be in miami florida so pay attention to these dates for bitcoin and crypto we could have some big news coming very soon crypto family welcome back to the channel aaron here coming back at you with another cryptocurrency video today in today's video, we'll be talking about the Bitcoin conference. The Bitcoin Bros recently did an interview with Chris Smith. He's one helping organize the Bitcoin conference. He talks about a lot of interesting points in the video about the conference. He talks about who's going to be there, some big announcements that we could potentially see. And he also talks about how you could get tickets at the Bitcoin conference. You can see the tickets right here. They are a little pricey, but if you reach out directly to Chris, he could potentially give you some discounts if you really want to go, if you're a Bitcoiner and you really want to be there. I will leave his links in the comment section below. So message Chris if you do want to go to the Bitcoin conference, but let's go ahead and get into the interview. Chris talks about a lot of good points in today's video, so I recommend you guys watch all the way to the end. Let's go ahead and play the clip. It's a really big lineup um, this year that, that we're excited to have join us in Miami. Um, you have your usual suspects such as my Michael Saylor, Alex Gladstein, Adam Back, Jack Mahler, Stacey Herbert, Lynn Alden. Um, but we also have some unique faces this year. Um, one that I'm in particularly excited about is Ridwan Kamil. Um, he's a governor in Indonesia that um, wants to bring Bitcoin mining and Bitcoin adoption to his region in Indonesia of more than 50 million people. So he's going to be coming to the event to kind of speak and also learn from the Bitcoin community on how to best do that. Um, and this is really exciting because Indonesia is one of those countries that just makes total sense um, to be one of the next kind of uh, staples in Bitcoin, Bitcoin mining, um, and kind of the broader broader uh, kind of sphere. So um, Ridwan, Ridwan's going to be awesome. We also have a couple um, politicians that I'm pretty excited about. Um, I don't know if last week um, you were tuned into the Gary Gensler trial at all, but yeah. one of the congressmen that was really kind of um, adamant about um, getting Gensler to to answer questions. And honestly, he was kind of grilling him. Um, but that was Congressman Patrick McHenry from North Carolina. Um, and then right after this, we we reached out to his team and, and connected with them. And he'll be joining us at our event. Um, other U.S. senators is Cynthia Lummis will be joining us at our event. Um, and former Congresswoman Tulsi Gabbard, um, she's going to be joining us as well, and she's going to be speaking on kind of the the scariness and darkness and and what to fear um, in regards to CBDCs. And um, through this conversation, a lot of people have kind of concluded on Bitcoin, right? Um, so yeah, those are those are some of the highlights that that I'm really looking for. Um, other than that, a few others that I'm pretty excited about um, is Arthur Hayes. Um, David Marcus, um, he's the CEO of LightSpark. Um, he used to be the head of uh, digital assets for Meta. Um, Eric Weinstein, he's the the host of the the post or the Portal podcast. Uh, very excited to hear Eric again. He was with us last year. Um, Zoltan Pozar, he's one of the managing directors of of Credit Suisse. He's going to be talking about kind of the current banking crisis. Um, and, and yeah, that's just kind of a short list of some of the top names that will yeah, be there. So in, in 2021, when we threw our conference, um, the, the conference was actually supposed to be Bitcoin 2020. Um, but it ended up not being able to happen due to, um, COVID. So for about a year, our company was looking for, okay, where, where can we throw this, um, huge in-person event to celebrate exactly kind of the opposite of what COVID was promoting. COVID was promoting kind of social distancing, staying inside, not being around people, where us as an events company was, how can we get everyone in one place? How can we um, get the whole entire community together to kind of celebrate freedom and Bitcoin um, and what our community's true North Star is. So in 2021, we finally um, reached out to the state of Florida um, and they said, hey, 
y'all can come down here and and kind of throw this event and um that that's what we did so in 2021 we threw we moved the bitcoin conference from san francisco to miami um and through the event for i believe it was just under 12,000 people um many of the mainstream media kind of journalists called us the super spreader event of the year um and, and you know we we kind of love that right because that's what we were that's kind of the anti ethos that we were going for. Um, so in 2022, um, last year in Miami, um, we really kind of sparked up from the 12,000 and we had 26,000 people join us for that event. Um, that was a bull market conference. That was one where everybody's spending money left and right. Mm -hmm. Um, and this year's not going to be like that. Um, this year is going to be a bear market conference. Um, it's going to be the industry reflecting on what happened, um, how did we get here, and what can we do to move the industry forward um, and back to a position where so much contagion and, and things are as, I guess, prevalent and dominant um, in our industry. So we are probably going to actually answer your question, um, around fifteen to 20,000 is our current um, anticipated number. Um, we're not totally sure where we're going to end up as um, historically in the past, most of our ticket sales come between a week to three weeks before the event. Um, but if we were to have the event tomorrow, we'd already have over 10,000 people um, kind, of, kind of ready to line up. Um, and, and join us for the event, which is really, really exciting. So, um, yeah, I'd say somewhere in between fifteen to twenty thousand um, around a week before the event. I'd have a better number about that. Um, but yeah, it, no doubt about will be the second largest Bitcoin conference, um, and, and we, as kind of the Bitcoin conference, um, wanting to expand throughout the world with with all of our conferences, definitely have a north star of being the place for Bitcoin adoption to happen. Um, and, and the El Salvador announcement, I guess, was our kind of first step in that direction to be kind of the CES of, of what this industry is about and, and bring kind of the largest announcements in the industry to our event um, to share with the Bitcoin community. Um, so to slightly answer slash avoid your question, our, our team has definitely been in talks with some with some major players in the space. Um, and when these announcements happen, um, we're very confident that they will kind of happen at our conference. Um, as far as should you anticipate announcements such as um, as big as kind of the El Salvador legal tender announcement, I'm not sure. You're just going to have to come find out or come find out yourself in person in Miami. Um, but, but as far as just those announcements in, in general, um, we anticipate all of them to happen um, at the Bitcoin conference, whether it be in Miami or anywhere. Last year, we expanded the Bitcoin conference out of Miami for the first time. Um, Miami's been our flagship, um, and we we are now wanting to, I guess, um, what our president, Mike Germano, referred to as taking our world tour. Um, and I love that analogy, right? Because Bitcoin isn't just for the United States, clearly. Um, Bitcoin adoption outside of the United States has honestly completely dominated. So um, we want Bitcoin to to kind of be be spread throughout the world, right? Our North Star is hyper Bitcoinization. So we are going to do everything in our power to align with that North Star and expand our event throughout the world. Um, and our first step in that area was to expand to Amsterdam. Um, we had an opportunity present itself with some partners, um, some production partners up in Amsterdam who, may I say, are some savage Bitcoiners. <laughs> and um, it totally made sense, too, because one of the first Bitcoin conferences ever, uh, Bitcoin 2020 or Bitcoin 2013, I believe, was actually in Amsterdam. Um, so very humorous to just kind of bring it back to Amsterdam. There's some savage Bitcoin maxis up there. I'm telling you. Um, they they are building on the protocol. There's a ton of core devs up there. Um, it's a really awesome kind of vibe of, of just builders, freedom lovers, um, very focused on, on anti-central banking ethos um, is kind of the vibe that I got. And it went really, really well. So we just announced a couple of weeks ago that we're going back to Amsterdam 
um, for Bitcoin Amsterdam 2023. This is going to be in October, mid-October. I believe it's the 12th through the 14th, um, but don't hold me to it. I've been very kind of um, head in the details on our Miami event, but it is somewhere in mid-October. Um, and then after that, I don't think Amsterdam is our final stop, right? We're we're looking at Tokyo. We're looking at Middle East countries. We're looking at Indonesia as well. Um, I think a lot of these are options, and I think the sky's the limit with Bitcoin adoption. So the sky's the limit with our events too. And trying to get our media partners involved, um, kind of before the event, mm-hmm. uh, just to educate um, the audience about what Bitcoin 2023 is, what the Bitcoin conference is. Um, and the one thing that I've been making sure to include is that we really value ourselves and being a place for all Bitcoiners to come gather and celebrate the awesome protocol that Bitcoin is and the awesome freedom that, that it's actually given to so many people. Um, and through that, we never want price um, and the price of our tickets to actually be a barrier of entry. Um, if you can't afford a ticket, if, if this bear market has just kind of been hard, the recession has been hard, but you still want to join us in Miami, um, reach out to me or George McHale, our head of community, um, either on Twitter, I'll, I'll even throw my email in here. Um, um, my Twitter is Chris Smith BTC. Shoot me a DM on Twitter and we will make the accommodations happen for for either you or your family. If you want to come join and celebrate in hyper Bitcoinization, Um, I we definitely realize that our prices are are pretty steep and and we do have these prices for a reason. It does cost a lot of money to um, throw an event this size in such a prominent city. Right. Um, but if you're a Bitcoiner, um, a hardcore Bitcoiner, and you really want to attend the event and you just can't, reach out to me. We'll make it happen.